Hi everyone, it's Hannah Ross. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video has <laughs> quite the story. It is actually going to be a closet organization video. Again, some of my most favorite content on YouTube, organizing, decluttering, I love it all. But my plan was not to do a closet organization video. It was actually just to do a closet declutter and organize with me. And then I walked into my closet and saw the masses, the heaps, the piles, the stuff that was not supposed to be there. It is so chaotic and disorganized that I don't even want to do the declutter yet. I think this can be an entire dedicated video just to get my closet organized. So if there's anyone watching that knows me already, you will know how wild this is for me. I am the type of person that always has an extremely meticulous closet. I am very organized and my closet is an area where that is just like one notch up, it's extra elevated. So my closet is not a typical place where we have disorganization in the house. But what happened was we are here for a little bit here in Canada we were traveling before and we're going to be traveling again. So it's strange because it's kind of this hybrid of yes, being home and having the same closet as usual, but I have like the behaviors and actions and honestly just bad habits that I got in these past few months with travel. And those two have combined to, you know, have a bit of a messy closet. It's a bit embarrassing, not gonna lie. I ensured to not move it whatsoever. So this is as real as it gets. This is what it looks like. All right, let's show you in three, two, one. So this is it, my friends. I am now going to take you for a little bit more up close and personal tour. I'm gonna get behind the camera here and show you the goods. So the lighting isn't perfect in here, but you get the idea. There's some of my husband's stuff. There's my dresses and towels. This is basically all my clothing. And I know it looks super, super messy, but it's actually like organized into its proper categories. So I'll just need to like fold my clothes and refresh that. And then there is so much stuff on the floor that you know, just through our travels, picked up and ended up in the closet, or I packed, or the stuff that I was wearing last night. There are also some shoes over here that aren't typically in the closet. Um, I think I'm actually going to keep my dress shoes in here though, but they need to find a proper spot. They just can't be floating around on the ground. So yes, that is the tour. I am going to set you back down and we are going to start to figure out the strategy of how to organize this properly. All right, my friends, step number one is going to be bringing everything out of the closet that does not belong there and putting it in its proper home. I already have picked up on a lot of stuff that shouldn't be there. So let's get these things out of the closet and into their proper home. Some extra throw cushions. Those definitely don't go in the closet, so those are gonna have to find their proper home. This is all stuff that we are going to be packing with us. I didn't really have a better spot for it, so I just tossed it in the closet, but I am going to start putting together like a little dedicated pile of stuff that we're packing, so these can find a new home. My purses, I don't store in the closet, nor do I store my little slippers. They have dedicated spots in the house, so those will go in their homes. All right, and the last two things are my husband's jacket. Um, could be a closet item, but we have a dedicated jacket for outerwear. So that's gonna go downstairs and then these need to go into storage. They are just little covers that I put over my formal dresses, but I don't need them right now. So I am going to put these in storage and this in the closet downstairs. All right, so that is first step done. And step two, at least for me, of course, <laughs> this is just my own theory, the way that I would organize this closet. 
Step number two is going to be categorizing. So there is a lot of stuff still here on this lovely floor that needs a little bit of categorization. The stuff in the shelving that's all shoved actually kind of categorized, so I won't need to do much work there, but it's really just the stuff on the ground that I am going to sort and pick through and see where it has its place in the closet. All right, so we are all categorized on the floor here. Everything is kind of taking shape a little bit. I um, forgot to mention that the first sweep that I should have done should have been for just garbage, which I did find some. So that would have been the ideal first step, but we're here and we're doing it second. <laughs> it's good enough. So that was kind of actually just my initial categorization. I am going to go back in with my husband's stuff. My husband's stuff right now is just its own pile. I'm gonna have to go back in and fine tune his stuff a little bit. But before we do that, I wanna pick up the stuff on the floor. I wanna get a nice clean working surface. So as you can see, we have some travel bags. I'm not sure if you can actually tell, but some travel bags. Those I'm actually going to be putting on the upper shelves. And then I have just a random dress lying on the ground that I'm gonna pick up. And then I have all my shoes. So I'm gonna put those over to the corner and try to neatly organize those all in a row. So let's get these things taken up off the floor. Last night's dress. No, we're not all perfect. Come on, let me show you the shoes. All right, now it's time to deal with this massive pile of shoes. Oh my gosh. Look at them all. They need a little sorting and organizing, don't you think? So I have decided that this is going to be their spot. Like I mentioned, typically they go downstairs. Typically they go in our little shoe cabinet. But um, honestly, for now, I am wearing them in some YouTube videos. I am needing them quite frequently. And I'm kind of liking having them here with my outfits. At least my dressier shoes. My everyday shoes, they can stay downstairs. But my dressier shoes, I'm going to keep up here for now and see how that goes. And if it doesn't work, then no problem whatsoever. We're not going to be staying here too, too much longer. So it's like a little experiment. So I'm just going Going to go in and color coordinate them I believe yes I think that's how I will do it and I will start with just my little flat sandals it'll be a little bit out of frame here but my flat sandals right there and you know what I thought I was gonna color coordinate but I actually think I'm gonna go in with shoe style so the exact same flat pair of shoes right beside it and then I'm going to go with open toed nude Do -do -do. And then open toed black shoes. I hope these all fit. Uh, oh, no, closed toed, sorry. Nude shoes. Closed toed black shoes. And then at the very end, I'm going to put these little pair of flats. You will see what I am doing with those in an upcoming video. So that is my shoe fix for right now. Perfect. They actually fit perfectly, so I'm pretty happy with that. And it gives them a nice dedicated space in the closet. All right, so we are on to that like next categorization step where I'm gonna bring all my husband's clothes down and categorize them just to start seeing what he's got where. This is nowhere near all of his clothing. He has an entire dresser full over there. He's a little bit more sporadic. He has some stuff in the laundry. He ha even has some clothes beside his bed. So this is just a few of his items that I'm going to organize for him. And yeah, just basically see what he's got here, categorize them, and then we will get them in a home as well. Already found laundry, there we go. <laughs> Oops, found something else that doesn't belong. This is actually an outerwear piece of his. It's a little Arcteric vest. So that, similarly to the jacket that I found of his, his raincoat, that is going to find a home in the downstairs closet as well. 
All right, so I have my little circle of wonder here apparently. Started off with his accessories, t-shirts and tank tops, long sleeve t-shirts, sweaters, shorts, casual pants like sweatpants or like Lululemon style joggers and then nicer pants so whether that be like a good quality jean or dress pants and then miscellaneous just his Christmas pajamas so those are the categories that we are working with here so the next stage is actually figuring out where things need to go um, it's not the stage where you're folding yet just where are these items going to have a home within your closet and I actually decided to switch things up. My husband and I are not going to be using these railings. I don't think it makes much sense to like hang up clothes before you leave and then have to store the hangers again. I would have to get those out of storage in the first place. So I think we're actually going to leave these blank. And I have decided that I'm going to graciously share all of the shelving units in here with my husband, which means I am going to have to reorganize the stuff that I have strewn about here. So I am going to move my stuff around, make an extra two plus shelves for him and see how that transpires and see if that works. So I've got my husband's piles all perfectly set out on the floor. Um, I have everything categorized here and the next step is going to be moving these pieces into the place that they are going to call home. So well, let's get going with that. You know what? I'm also going to put my husband's Christmas pajamas in the Cancun packing pile as well. Um, he's just not going to wear them, but we definitely do want to pack them. We want a little Christmas spirit, even though it's going to be sunny and gorgeous and not snowy at all. Um, so yeah, definitely going to be packing these. I actually wear mine. I don't know if this is weird, but I wear my Christmas pajamas all year round. So I'm going to keep mine out, but my husband's can go in that Cancun pack and pile. All right, this might be a good and unorthodox method. I uh, didn't really think about this before I was filming, but I don't think people typically shove things in their closet that are not folded yet. I like to do that because if not, I have like no concept of where things are. Now everything's already categorized, it's good to go. Now it is the step to just work to make things pretty. So the first of the beautification steps is to fold everything neatly and tidily and that is that first step that I am going to take right now. Cue the folding montage. So as I go through and organize, sometimes I am lazy and I will fold something as I wear it. So for instance, this, if I'm going to put it on unbuttoned, I would just fold it unbuttoned. But it's so nice every once in a while to go through and like button up or zipper up your garment and have it look like so fresh and clean and very intentional. So I think I'm going to do that today as a little treat to myself. I'm going to button everything up, zipper everything up. So it just looks really, really nice and fresh in the closet. See, I'm no pro folder, but doesn't that just look so much better than like all sloppy and not buttoned up? I think it's really cute. So as these little categories form and take shape, I'm going to start popping them back into their little homes. So I go one at a time per category. This one is done for folding, so it's going back at the top left-hand corner of my shelving unit. All right, so now we have the matching set category to get folded up and we're gonna go ahead and do that one. I, of course, am wearing the linen pants that go with this top, so just imagine there are some beautiful linen pants being folded into this arrangement as well. I think I'm gonna split this one up into two. So this is loungewear. This is a little bit fancier wear, so I am going to put this into the closet now.
So these are basically all the tops I own, other than a few sweaters that I have packed away. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna organize these ones by color. I feel like that's gonna be the easiest for me to pull out from a shelf if they're folded. So I think I'm gonna go with color for these ones. All right, my friends, so that is all my tops, all my dark ones, and all my light ones going back into the closet. All right, so we are now moving on to all the pants I own, folding those up and making sure they're all categorized as well. All right, we are skipping that middle row for now. You will see why with the next beautification step. So we are going on to my husband's row, which is the second from the bottom and folding up all his clothes now. And you know what? <laughs> I didn't know if I was gonna mention this or not, but I, I love doing this. Like I love organizing. I adore closet organization, closet planning. This is really fun for me. So I do not mind whatsoever doing this for my husband. In fact, I'm very happy and willing to. And am I going to go and color coordinate my husband's clothes? Yes, yes I am. <laughs> He certainly wouldn't care, but again, I just love doing it. So you're definitely going to see everything nice and aesthetically pleasing by the end of this. And it's not just for show. Trust me, I do this anyways in my real life. You can ask my husband. <laughs> Yes, this is one of my husband's sweaters. It does have rips and holes, and it is not only one of his favorite sweaters, it is also one of my favorite sweaters. I just love it oh, so much. I don't know why, it really doesn't make any sense, but we love it, and we're keeping it, and we're not fixing the holes. So the next step is actually going to be additional storage solutions. So extra tools and your organizational toolbox to make your spaces look beautiful, but also function really, really well. So there are some smaller items like socks and undergarments that need, you know, some additional storage. And for that, I have just some bins. I find this the best method because you can chuck a bunch of stuff into it. These ones are nice and deep. They're from Walmart, the little brand with the um, orange exclamation point. I really, really like. And yeah, these bins are absolutely fantastic and they fit perfectly here. So I am going to put one bin for my undergarments and the other for my husband's. And I don't really know where to put my husband's accessories right now, so I'm just gonna put them on um, right on top on this bin too. So that is my husband's side done. See, mine were kind of already categorized into these little baggies, so I just have one for bras, one for socks, one for underwear. Makes things really easy on me. And as you can see, it just, I don't know, it looks so much better just by having those two simple storage solutions. Oh my gosh, it just makes the world of a difference, at least in my opinion. So moving on to the final phase in this entire closet organization, and I call it final touch time. <laughs> I got that from the Sorry Girls when they do their makeovers. They always like put a cute little plant somewhere and you know, books and decor and those final finishing touches. But I'm not talking about decor, I'm talking about final organizational touches. So let's go around and finish off this closet organization.
All right, my friends, you remember the before photos, don't you? Something that looks like this. Oof, a little rough, needed a little TLC. Well, without further ado, let me show you the final tour of my organized closet. I'm definitely a little sweaty after that one, but that was a really fun video to film. I hope you liked it. I hope the before and afters are satisfying and you just found it good motivational content if you are looking to organize your closet. I sure needed a good closet clean out and just being in that space now makes me feel oh so happy and much more at peace. You might notice, like I mentioned, the two racks are completely empty. Those are usually chock full of stuff, one for my husband and one for me, but because we're traveling, like I said, we don't wanna just hang everything up to unhang, pack the hangers, get them out of storage, blah, 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 the whole thing. So so we are leaving those empty, but we definitely maximized and utilized those shelf spaces that were already in place, already built-ins. And I feel like it's a really good in-between solution, seeing as we're not going to be staying in this house for too, too much longer. So yeah, thank you so, so much for clicking on this video. If you like this video or this style of video, give it a like. If you like me, if you like my content in general, then please consider subscribing. It would truly mean the world to me. Thanks for spending a small part of your day here with me on my channel, and I really hope to catch you in my next minimalism video. All right, everyone, bye for now. Bye.